For many people, brunch is their favorite meal because, you know, it combines the best of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Joining us today is a two-time Food Network winner and celebrity chef, Palak Patel, who is here with some tasty tips to kick off National Brunch Month. Good morning and great to see you today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I mean, it is all the great foods we love, but why do you think brunch is so popular? To me, brunch is all about spending quality time with family and friends. In my new cookbook called Food is Love, it has recipes for brunch that combine, as you mentioned, the best of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So today, I want to share with you some tips and some unique ways to be able to create menus to celebrate National Brunch Month. Oh, great. So what is one item you think should always be on our brunch menu? Brunch at my house always starts with a freshly brewed cup of coffee to welcome everyone. And if you're looking for a crowd pleaser, check out Starbucks limited edition at home spring coffees, including the new Starbucks brown sugar cinnamon flavored coffee that also comes in a cold brew concentrate. I love everything all nice. <laughs> and two returning favorites, uh, a spring day blend and a toasted coconut mocha flavored coffee available in K-cup and ground. You can get these at your local grocery stores or online mm -hmm. for a limited time. Okay, so what is another unique suggestion you think we need to have for our brunch menu? Here are some tips to really up-level your brunch. I love putting together a charcuterie board for brunch, and I add the SunSweet Probiotic Prunes. Now, these prunes add some sweetness, and they cut through the salty cheeses and the spicy dips. You can elevate your typical brunch drinks with this mule mocktail, and it uses... Uh, sun sweet amazing prune juice and I serve it with the delicious prune cinnamon swirl bread. I also recommend that people bake with prunes because they add natural sweetness and some moisture to your recipes and using these tips will help bring some feel-good vibes to your brunch with sun sweet amazing prunes, amazing prune juice and probiotic plus prunes. Kind of a perfect brunch companion. Yeah, they're good for us too. So do you have a favorite yeah. recipe for brunch? One of my favorite recipes in the cookbook is a no egg frittata. It's made with chickpea flour, potatoes, bell peppers, and spices and onions. Now, this recipe you can make ahead of time so you have more time with your friends and family and you just bring it to the table for those oohs and ahs whenever you're ready to eat. Yeah, make ahead recipes are excellent. That way, like you said, you can visit with your friends and family more. Any other go-to ingredients that you like to always have on hand for brunch? My brunch table will always have whatever seasonal fruit is available, and I chop that up, add some fresh mint and a little bit of maple syrup. This helps bring out the natural sweetness of the fruit and kind of complements all of the savory dishes on the table. Oh, what about desserts? We can't forget those. I'm a Georgia girl, so there is, of <laughs> course, a peach semolina cake in my cookbook, and you can serve this cake warm or cold or at room temperature, ice cream optional, but you need ice cream, if you're asking me. That looks great. Uh, Chef, where can we find your recipes and more inspiration for brunch? You can find more info on tipsontv.com. Great talking with you. Thanks so much for sharing this with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're getting all kinds of recipe ideas today. I'm telling you, it's all about eating today. Mm -hmm. I, I have not gotten the drinking prune stuff. A but prune cocktail. We're going to have to work on that. Maybe I Maybe try that prune out here. cocktail? <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. Mm. Okay, but when we come back, the queen of...